How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with a little bit of uh, awesome-tastic, hopeful collabness from two of my favorite breweries out there going right now, especially in the Lehigh Valley, more specifically, that would be Bomb Place Brewing and McCall Collector Brewing. It's their especially special. Yeah, this is an ESB, extra special bitter, uh, brewed by Friends for Friends, the child of Southside Bethlehem and Allentown Love Fest that extends beyond the breweries. Um... 5.1% ESB. This comes kind of courtesy of Matt from McCall Brewing, the um, brewer and owner. Uh, he sent me off a box. I reviewed some of his beers. I forget who sent them off. Who sent them off again? Chuck, maybe? Charles? Chuck? Something like that? I forget forget your name. I'm sorry, brother. Um, he sent me off some of the beers. He was like, hey, man, watch the videos. I, I live down here in um, in the Lehigh Valley, and I did this brewery. I'd love to send you some stuff off. And that kind of kicked off a conversation with me and Matt from McCall. And he said, eh, man, let me send you off some beers. And he said that, and then a month went by, which is not a problem, but I'm just, for context. And during that month, they did this, and then I saw the little beer mail thing pop up in my um, my inbound on USPS, or, sorry, uh, a service that's allowed to, to ship beer. And um, and I was like, this better fucking be in there. And it was, so I'm happy camper. Um, what does it say in here? It says, government warning stuff, keep cold, drink fresh, please recycle. Um, there's no date, so I don't know how fresh it is. I do, but you guys don't. Um, and, you know, label wise, it's awesome, man. You got your uh, little McCall building there. You got your little Bonner building right there. I'm a fan. What does that look like? Apple cider. Like Christmas time apple cider. You go to your local like grocery store, Wegman, something like that. And you buy that like countryside apple cider. It's exactly what it looks like. Um, so the head dissipated really quickly. It had a decent head on it. Um, just off way, kind of around khaki colored kind of head on it, as you can see there. But I talk too much, so it dissipated really quickly. Wrapped around that kind of dark, unfiltered kind of apple cider vibes. So let's give it a nose. Not a big nose on it. It's definitely malt forward. Not getting much as far as bittering. A lot of, like, it's not caramel. It's not chocolate. There's something there, and I can't I can't pinpoint it. It's like a combination of chocolate and caramel and, a, and like, a nut bread kind of thing, but it's not nutty. It's just more of a... It's not Nutella. It's like a breadiness. I'm getting a big breadiness off of this with a kind of chocolate hazelnut kind of... Um, caramel kind of mixture off it so it smells quite nice nothing far as bittering goes it smells like a nice malt forward beer let's dive in cheers okay yeah i mean it kind of takes that that flavor and it is a nut bread for me it's like a hazelnut bread that's kind of how this beer comes off for me and it kind of amplifies it on a nose i'm like okay it's gonna be a nutty malty a little bit of caramel vibes to it Let's see how it shows in the taste, but no, it's quite vibrant. It's much more expressive. I thought it would be. Who brewed this? Ah, doesn't say in here. That's weird, right? It's weird. I thought you had to put that on a label. <sighs> Did I just blow up your spot? Doesn't matter anyway. Um, but yeah, it it's just rich. It's 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 almost like like brownie batter esque. In the way the kind of malt comes off. There is a bittering component there. But it's a little bit lower than what you expect for an ESB. Actually let me reverse that. The bittering component is there. But I think that malt presence of it. From a density. You can see how thick that is. How dense it is. How rich it is. Is probably a bit bigger. Than what, it's, it, what you typically see from an ESB. So it's almost just a little bit more richer. A little bit more sweeter. Not that that bittering isn't there. But it's just that's where the balance is a little bit larger on that side. As opposed to the bittering side. But the bittering is nice. You can get a little tannic kind of qualities from it. A little tea-like qualities. But it's definitely malt driven. Definitely more forward. The carbonation is probably a little bit low for me. Not that you want a huge carb, uh, carbonation point on a um, ESB, but I do like them to have a solid carbonation because that kind of adds a little bit of effervescence. So it gives you not necessarily cascale vibes, but it kind of alludes to a little bit more softness. And it's quite nice. I think it's tasty. I wouldn't necessarily call it an ESB. Um, you know, it's more of kind of like someone made a Bach, but without lagering kind of vibe on it. I think I said that recently about another brewery oddly enough 
but I like it as a tasty beer, as a pub ale, as something I want to want to sit and drink. Like this wouldn't be a beer I would belly up and drink all day. It would be like, let's let's like pick like three or four beers that you really want to chug on. You know, your lagers, your pilsner, your Schwarz beer, those kind of beers, and kind of you know go, go up and down on it. You know, start light, go medium, get a bit big, and then kind of hit this off every now and then as like kind of like a peak for that, as like a nice journey up and down a kind of tap list. Hopefully everything's on cask, but yeah, it's a tasty beer and super fun. Thank you very much for sending this off, Matt. Very cool of you. Yeah, I like this. I can't wait to go drink down there. And, you know, I've been to Bonda a thousand times. I haven't been to McCall because they opened to um, they opened pretty much during COVID, so I have been missing. I can't wait to do the rounds down there. It's been way, way too long. Anyway, let's talk about it. Is this one of the bitter ESPs I've had as late? If we're really going by like BJCP standards and all that kind of funky shit, it can't even be in there. Is it one of the better English influence kind of pub ales that I've had this late? Even with that in the conversation, it's worthy of being there. Um, it's just not going to be towards the top. It's a little low on carbonation, and just I think there's a little bit of imbalance and the maltiness and and the bittering, um, but it's fun nonetheless. Value and availability, no idea what these were. Somebody in the old Bond universe that would be Keith essentially. Let me know what's what with this and leave you with if you like what we like this beer. If you like your English pub ales to skew malty and a little bit bready and sweet, kind of getting into Doppelbach range, but in ale territory, you'll like this. So there we go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out down the social media stuff. Beer Massif. You want to check me out down the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little bit of Bond and or, or both at the same time, McCall Collective. Hopefully we'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>